Hello and welcome. In the last video, we had a discussion about the predict method. In this video, I will be talking about another interesting method and the method is mirrored mirror method. So as in the last video I told you that the predict method is used to update both the variable desired value variable and mirrored value variable of a register model. So it won't perform any transaction on a DU or a hardware register. Remember this. If you see the literature for this mirror value, you will find the syntax for the mirror values like while we are using mirror method in that we have to provide arguments like status and another argument is check. So if we are using UVM check, it will check the content of the register value which we are reading from the hardware register with the current mirrored value and if both are mismatch it will throw the UVM error. We'll understand this with the help of example, simple example. Okay, so this mirror method is used to read the field and update slash check its mirrored value. And optionally we can provide this you know, UVM check to compare the readback value with the current mirrored value. Now let me show you the code for this. How we can write simple. All the classes are same as we discussed and we are discussing from the last few videos. The DUT class the transaction class, driver, agent and all classes are same. Let me show you the register sequence class. Okay. So this is what the re register sequence class till this body part all the things are same. Inside this body as we discussed that we have to provide a status field which is of UVM status C type and two variables to store desired and mirrored value. Size should be same as the hardware register. Okay. Now this write method, already we discussed this write method. So this write method is used to write into the hardware register. So in this also we have to provide two arguments. First is the status and the next is the value which we want to write into the hardware register and the syntax is register block instance dot register instance dot write method within parenthesis this is status and the value which we want which we want to write into the hardware register so here we are giving 10 and after any transaction on a DUT both desired and mirrored value will be updated so here if we are taking this desired value using get method and mirrored value with this get mirrored value method and if we are using info to print we'll find both the desired and mirrored value will be 10 and this write method will initiate a write transaction on the DUT. so if after running this code you will find after write method desired and mirrored value variable will update it to 10 and it perform a write transaction on DUT. So we'll find a message from the driver that write data is 10. Okay. Let me show you another method. So this predict method already we discussed. This predict method basically update both the desired and mirrored value variable with the content we are writing in the parenthesis with the value which we are writing in the parenthesis. So as we are writing 5 over here. Right? 
so both desired and mirrored value variable of register model will be updated to 5. Remember it won't perform any transaction on the hardware register or DUT register. And after we are getting the desired variable and mirrored value variable, we'll find both will be updated to 5. So if you see the result here, after predict, both the desired and mirrored value variable will be fine. Now let me show you the interesting method which is mirror. So already we discussed that this mirror method read the data from the DUT or hardware register. Okay. And optionally if we are giving here UVM check, it will compare the read back value which we are reading from the hardware register with the current mirror value. Okay, if both are mismatch then it will give the UVM here. Okay, so the syntax for that is register block instance dot register instance dot mirror within parenthesis status comma UVM check. Okay. And it perform a read on the hardware register and after that if we are checking the desired and mirrored value variable both will be updated with the read value so read it, it will take the 10 over here because we are writing 10 into the hardware register so same we are reading using this mirrored value variable so after mirrored value you will find the desired and mirrored value updated with 10 and as it is performing a read on the DUT you will find there is a display statement from the driver that read data is 10 ok and the message is like after mirrored method the desired and mirrored value will be updated with 10 now let me show you as we are giving here the UVM check ok so it will compare the value which we are reading from the hardware register which is 10 ok because we are writing 10 into the hardware register and use the right method with the current mirrored value and the current mirrored value is 5 for us because we are using a predict method so this predict will update both the desired and mirrored value variable of a register model. So this 10 is not equal to 5. There is a mismatch between the value which we are reading from the hardware register and the current mirrored value. Okay. Hence it will give us the UVM error if we are using UVM check. If we are using UVM no check there, there, there is no any error you will find. So this is what the assignment for you. I am showing you with UVM check you can uh, you know take this code I will put a link in the description. You can give here UVM no check. Okay, and you can analyze the all other you know classes are same adapter, sequence, uh, or adapter test and all. Okay. So let me show you the complete you know simulation result. So this uh, write method is performing a write transaction on DUT. So you'll find the write data message from the driver that 10. Okay. And if you analyze the waveform for this, you'll find the temporary register will store A, which is 10, right? And the desired and mirrored value will be 10 over. After predict, both the desired and mirrored value will update it to 5 because in the parenthesis of predict method we are giving 5 over here right it will predict method will update both the desired and mirrored value variable of a register model it won't perform any transaction on DUT remember after that we are using this mirror method okay? so this mirror method is read the DUT register content so as you can see after mirrored method you will find the display message from the driver data read 10 because we are writing 10 into the hardware register 
if you analyze the waveform you will find while the write enable is becoming zero in the next clock cycle the d out is equal to a which is 10 okay and this mirror if we are using uvm check over here it will check the value which we are reading from the hardware register which is 10 with the current mirrored value so current mirrored value is 5 for us right and both are not equal hence we will find there is uvm error what what is that error that the dut the value read from dut is a okay meaning 10 does not match with the mirrored value so mirrored value is 5 for us current mirror okay. and you can see another info like this field f0 mismatch read is a meaning 10 we are reading 10 from the hardware register and the mirrored value is 5 both are not equal hence we are getting this uvm error okay. and after mirror method the both desired and mirrored value variable will be updated to 10 okay and you will find the test fail why because here in the test class okay as you analyze this test base test you will find here we are writing that the uvm fatal plus uvm error greater than zero hence test fail here you will find that uvm error is there right hence we are getting test fail. So this is what a simple explanation for them. Okay. So remember this uh, mirror method is read the data from the hardware register and also it will uh, you know compare the value which it is reading from the hardware register with the current mirrored value and both are mismatching it will throw the error uvm error okay. and you will find mismatch read is 10 and current mirror is 5 now the assignment for you guys is in the mirrored method as we are giving here uh, the uvm check try with uvm no check so you will find this message will not be there this error message will not be there and test will be passed So this is what a simple you know explanation. If you also analyze this, you'll find the messages like this. I just highlighted here for you know clear understanding. So let me show you this also. Same messages, the same console result, simulation result. Just I highlighted here for our understanding. Let me explain with this also. So after write method, the desired and mirrored value will be updated to 10. And the write method is initiate a write transaction on the UT. Hence, you will find the write data message from the driver class at 10. And in the waveform, you will find the content of the register. Temporary register is A, meaning 10. Okay, and write enable is 1. Hence, we are writing into the hardware register. Okay. After predict, as predict will update both desired and mirrored variable of the register block it won't perform any transaction on the ut hence both the desired and mirrored variable will be updated to 5 so the current mirrored value is 5 for us and this uh, mirror method is performing a read onto the hardware register it will read the hardware register and the desired and mirrored value will be updated to 10 so the value which we are reading from the hardware register is 10 so you will find it you know as it is performing a read you will find a message from the driver that data read which is 10 because we are writing 10 using write method so the value we are reading from the hardware register is 10 and the current mirrored value is 5 and both are not equal hence we will find uvm mirror and you will find the info like after mirrored uh, you will find a message like this mismatch read is a meaning 10 we are reading it 10 from the hardware register and mirrored value is 5 both are not equal okay. and after 
this mirrored as it is reading the hardware register content both desired and mirrored value will be updated with time okay. so this is what a simple explanation for mirror method i'll put a link of this code in the description you can go through with this code and you can play around with this code remember the assignment for you is to use here uvm no check and analyze the result so with this i hope you have understood the concept of this mirrored method and also i hope you enjoyed this video so thanks for watching this video thank you